Turn up to this one, no heating fault. Set the programmer to heating constant. Turn the room stat up. Boiler's not doing anything. Have a quick look upstairs, Y plan system. Whip out the breakdown Bible, but this time we're going to do it a little bit differently rather than follow the flow chart. So there's the wiring diagram for heating on. We know that it goes from the programmer to the room stat, which downstairs is right next to each other. And then up to the zone valve on white. So we'll whip out the 10 way. Must have been two for one on earths in there because there's plenty of them. So we're going to check on the white. So we're getting 240 on the white cable. So we know that the room stat and the program is okay. Check for voltage on the orange. 20 volts isn't enough. So we know it's a zone valve at fault. So once I whip the head off, if I'm only changing the head, I just check to make sure the spindle's okay. That moves freely, that's fine. I've seen this done a few times on the internet. Let's give it a go. Wow, that turned out all right. It doesn't matter how confident you are with wiring, I still think the best technique um, to wire a valve like for like is just do cable at a time. That way you can't go wrong and it's wired up then exactly the same as it was before. So we turn the power back on once all that's wired in. So we're getting 240 on white, we were before, and now we're getting 240 on orange. So we go downstairs to check the boiler, the boiler's firing, happy days. So we'll go through it a bit more in depth, so switch slug wire only, hot water on. So what that means is we don't get 240 on grey if the programmer is doing its job properly and the cylinder stats okay but we'll get 240 on orange. And then we'll do switch live, hot water off. So this will also check to make sure the program is doing its job properly because it should send 240 up to gray. So we'll turn the cylinder stat down and then that just proves cylinder stat and program are doing their job. So we'll do earth to gray. We're looking for 240 at this point. Yeah, so that's good. And the next check I always do is nothing cooling. So programmer off for heating and hot water. We should get zero volts on white. I know we're getting 19, but that's fine. As long as it's not 240. We should get nothing on orange and 240 on gray. And then that proves again, programmer's doing its job properly. The valve's not letting by. So in this section, I'll just show you how to use a voltage tester. Some people are asking me because I only use one probe. They can't see that the other one's clamped into earth. So the safest way is always put your first probe on earth and then you go to the live or the cable you're checking. So earth to that live, we're getting 240. If we go, the reason why they're not um, used for safe isolation is because if you go live to live, it's showing zero. I know the voltage indicator is flashing, but it's showing zero, so it can be, you know, a bit deceiving. So that's a bit more in depth. Live to live is zero, and then live to earth is 240. I hope this helped.